Hey you guys, welcome back to Zindi. So today we're gonna talk about shakers, okay? How to make these shaker acrylics. They're so, so fun and so, so cute. Okay, so here's two options. This is the baby bottle. One, just so you can see kind of what we're doing. And then this is the syringe, super cute. Okay, so let's go over what you need to get started and then we'll go from there. These particular sizes are the two inch size. So these are made more for badgerills, but you can use them for magnets um, or a variety of things. Um, but this is badgerill size, the two inch. So there's that one, there's that one. Okay, so let's start with the acrylics. What acrylics do you need? Okay, so if you're making badgerills with these, I would recommend going with two inch acrylics, okay? So you're gonna need three pieces, okay? You're gonna need your front piece, you're gonna need your back piece. These two are identical. These are our normal two inch acrylics with no hole, okay? And then in addition to that, you will need your shaker piece, okay? So three pieces, your backing, your shaker piece, and then your front, okay? So basically this goes here, your shaker piece goes here, and then this goes on top. You make a little box basically, and then we fill this up, okay? So as far as the front and back piece, you do have a couple options. You can do our regular um, 1 8 inch acrylic, which is what this is, or you can do our thinner 1 16 inch acrylic that looks like this. So 1 8 1 16 that's the difference in size. Um, there's no right or wrong way as far as that goes. It's just if you want less weight or if you prefer the thinner acrylics when doing shakers, okay? So this one, for instance, was made with our, with our normal 1 8 inch acrylics. And then this one was made with our smaller 1 16 inch, okay? So the inside shaker piece is the same for both. Same thickness, so you don't lose any space as far as filling it. Um, but the front and the back are much thinner, as you can see. So just so you have an idea of what you would rather, um, this is 1 16 this is 1 8 but there's no, um, it doesn't matter either way. It's just total preference, okay? So you have your acrylics, move that out of the way, and let's go over what you need as far as filling. Okay, so liquid-wise, you can use baby oil. You can use glycerin. Um, this is pure vegetable uh, glycerin. Glycerin is very thick, so if you don't want it as thick, you can mix this with distilled water. If you wanna color the liquid that's gonna go in your shakers, then glycerin um, does do really well with food coloring, okay? So this is glycerin. You can see this one has not been diluted with water, so it moves very slowly. It still moves, but it's a lot slower than if we would have mixed it with distilled water. This one moves a lot quicker. You can see that bubble moving very easily. Uh, this is um, baby oil. Okay, so just so you have an idea of the difference. I love the glycerin um, with just a little bit of distilled water, but totally up to you what you prefer. Um, this is how you will get your liquid into your acrylics. Um, these are needle nose uh, bottles. I highly recommend these. This will make your life so much easier. You can also use syringes, but I prefer the bottles. Um, they come with a bunch of different caps typically. So just like that. And then you can just um, have a bunch of different bottles with different colors so that your stuff is ready to go. It takes very little to fill these. So you can do several with these. So this one is glycerin with a little bit of distilled water. This one is glycerin with a lot more distilled water in it. This is uh, pure baby oil. And then this is actually just purple food coloring because I have an idea of what we're going to do in this video today. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but we'll find out. All right. So that's as far as um, the bottles to fill. And then as far as items that you can put in it, you can use polymer clay pieces. That's what's in this one. Um, so we have a bunch of different ones like fruits and hearts and um, sprinkles. So all of these are on the Zindi website. You can also put glitter in it if you'd like. Um, if you use glitter, make sure you use chunky as the fine will tend to clump up. So if you're doing shakers, I would use chunky glitter, not fine. Okay. So that's your inside of your shakers. Um, and then of course, food coloring, if you wanna color your glycerin or your distilled water, you can do that as well. Um, obviously you won't be able to put 
you won't be able to color the baby oil as it'll just separate, um, but that might be a cool effect for some things. All right, in addition to that, you will need um, the adhesive, which today we're gonna be using UV resin to attach all of these pieces together. So UV resin, acrylics, your filler, and then as far as supplies, um, these are flesh cutters. You can use wire cutters, just something sharp that can cut into these 3D pieces of the acrylic, okay? And then you will need an old paintbrush, not one you love because we will be um, using it on UV resin. Uh, baby wipes, must have. Those are the best way to clean your paintbrushes in the middle of you working. Alcohol, um, that is for us to clear the hole so that we can um, seal it once it's full. And then obviously gloves anytime you're working with UV resin. And then um, paper towels just in case. Um, and then as far as decorating your acrylic, you can use regular vinyl. These are some labels that we've made recently. So for the blood bags, you can use these, which are super cute. We also have some funnier ones like alien blood and student uh, nursing student tears, iced coffee. Um, this one says jingle juice for Christmas spirit. So super cute. We have about five different sets on the website that you can um, purchase. They are um, for not for download yet, but they will be. Right now they are just in sheets like I showed you before and then you can cut them down and get several different ones. All right, my dears. Let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do um, one of the blood bag ones today. I have not made a blood bag one yet, so this should be fun. And we will go with the thinner acrylic for this one. So we need our front and back piece, and then we need our 3D shaker piece. All right, I'm gonna zoom in so that y'all can really see what I'm doing. Okay, first thing you wanna do is you make sure you line all these up that they're in the right direction. The blood bag's easy because it's not symmetrical. You know, it's not the same on each side. Um, so it's easy to see what's front and back. The pill bottle, for instance, might be a little more difficult. You just wanna make sure you have them lined up properly. Okay, so we have our three pieces. We're gonna just move the front one out of the way. We don't need that one right now. And then the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and remove the backing paper off the front side of this back piece so that we can reveal the acrylic there. And then we're gonna take our three dimensional piece, our shaker piece, and we're gonna do the same thing. All right, so we got that paper off. Okay, now we're gonna take our cutters and we're gonna go ahead and cut a little hole into the acrylic. Um, this is gonna be the hole that we use to fill it with our liquid, okay? So ideally, you wanna go to like the apex of the acrylic, so the furthest distance, okay? So we're gonna try to do it right here on this little area. Um, the reason why we go the furthest distance is so that you can get as much filling in there as possible, okay? Perfect. Okay, so now we have a hole on the bottom of our acrylic. We're gonna use that to fill. We'll cover this after. Just be careful, once you cut that, this little piece can be very delicate, okay? And just make sure whatever cutters you're using are sharp enough that it can cut through and not crack it. All right, so then you're gonna take your resin of your choice and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a bead around the edge of it. This does not have to be perfect. I know you'll want it to be, but it doesn't have to be, okay? So just as clean as you can get it um, along the edge of the acrylic. And if I have to move this out of frame a minute, I apologize, it's really hard to see under the camera, okay? All right, so we have the edge of that. Now from here, we're gonna take our shaker piece 
and we're just going to set that on top, okay? And it's normal for resin to seep out the sides. That's expected. Have your paintbrush on hand and what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of hold it down and just kind of um, use the paintbrush to slide it on that seal, okay? And right now uh, with UV resin, you can still move it a lot until we put it under that UV light. So if it doesn't seem to be lined up properly or anything like that, this is your chance to line it up how it's supposed to be. Okay, so if you can see that, that's all lined up. All I'm doing is turning it and looking at it from different angles to make sure there's no like big globs of UV resin or anything. Okay, so that looks good. Um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna clean our paintbrush with just a baby wipe before we take that UV light out. And then we're gonna put it under the light for uh, three minutes or whatever your UV resin needs. Um, also, I am a big fan of putting foil over the end. It just keeps the light in. Okay, we're gonna look at that. Um, you can usually tell if UV resin is done curing if it's not sticky. Okay, so if you still um, find that it's sticky, you can put it under the light some more. All right, now, from here, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put our top piece on, okay? Super easy. You take your top piece and we're gonna take the backing paper off the front and the back, okay? So we have that. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take our resin and we're gonna put a bead along the shaker part. And for this, you want to be generous, but you don't want it to, to be too generous, okay? Now I'm going to try to zoom in so that y'all can see a little better. All right, we're going to take our top piece. We're going to set that right on there. Now, once you add that top piece on, it's usually very easy to see if there's any bubbles around the edge of any place that's missing resin, okay? So I don't know if y'all can see. But yeah, you see how we have a good bead all the way around, no missing resin, that's great. So we just wanna make sure that that's lined up. We can do the same thing with our paintbrush because you're gonna have resin come out. We're just making sure, we're just making sure that is all fitting in there properly. All right, that looks beautiful. All right, so now from here, we're gonna go ahead and put it under our light and let that finish. Okay, now from here, we are going to just check it out. See if it looks all good. Because the last thing we want are any leaks. Okay, so our final step to avoid leaks um, is we are going to take our paintbrush and we're gonna put a little UV resin down the sides um, 
just to fill any gaps that might be there. I mean, this one looks pretty dang good. Like I don't see any holes or anything, but the last thing you want is for this to leak. Okay, so show you how we're gonna do that. So we have our acrylic and just be careful touching the front. Make sure you, your fingers are clean, your gloves are clean. You don't wanna ruin the front of your acrylic, especially after getting this far. Um, so we're gonna take our resin and we're just gonna put a little bit down. Take our paintbrush and basically just go down the side, especially any, any cracks or anything like that. And we're gonna do one side at a time. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and cure that. All right, so that side looks good. I only did um, a little bit of curing, at first, like a flash cure basically, just so I can go to the next side and then I'm gonna cure the whole thing um, together. Okay, same thing. Be sure all this area, like with the little indentions, you really get that covered. That looks beautiful. And you can do this with two part epoxy resin. It doesn't have to be UV resin, but obviously it would take much longer. Um, and you don't wanna mix the two, um, two part epoxy and then UV resin. They don't like to adhere to each other. So if you're gonna do UV resin, do the whole thing in UV resin. If you're gonna do epoxy resin, do the whole thing in two part epoxy resin. Okay, this looks amazing. And now it's the most, most fun part. Okay, so we're looking at this really close just to make sure we don't see any gaps, but we look like we are sealed all the way, which is so nice. Okay, so, and also you wanna make sure this is fully cured because if you wipe this with rubbing alcohol or anything um, and it's not, um, it'll get like dingy looking, like uh, cloudy. So I'm doing one more minute just to be safe and then we will be ready for the best part. So for this one, I plan on doing um, the alien blood because why not? That sounds fun. Um, okay, so you see our hole is in the bottom right here. So for this one, I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but we're gonna try. Um, we are gonna do baby oil with a few drops of food coloring so it could be like suspended in the liquid, you know? So we'll, let's see if this works, okay. So your hole's right here. You put your needle nose um, bottle in there. Squeeze a little, release the pressure. And this is where we're gonna really look and see if we have any leaks or anything like that. I don't want to fill that too much because I want room for this looks good. I don't see any leaks or anything like that. We're going to take the food coloring. This is purple. My favorite. Ooh. 
Well, that's cool. Okay, and you want to have a little bit of bubble um, for movement, but not too much. All right, we're going to wipe off any extra. Oh, wow, that's neat. Oh my goodness, it came out so much better than I thought it would. So yeah, the more you shake it, the more little bubbles you get. Well, yay. Okay, so from here, we want to clean off the end of this very well, especially with it being baby oil. Get And be careful not to turn this upside down because it is full now. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. Okay. All right, we're gonna take our alcohol swab. And just wipe off the end so that our UV resin can adhere to that. And then we're going to take our UV resin and we're basically going to fill this little hole, okay? So we're going to kind of build it up. All right. Go ahead and put that under our light. Flash cure that really quick. So we're gonna do a minute and then um, check it and add a little bit more. This actually looks nice and sealed. I don't think we're gonna have to add any more. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure it for the whole time. All right. So this is nice and sealed. So from here we can decorate, which is so fun. Okay, so for this one, I am going to use the little alien blood um, sticker. And I'm also going to put like a silver outline around it. Okay, so get my transfer tape. And I don't have my squeegee with me. Yes, I do. Never mind. All right, take our squeegee, burnish that. Now, um, a lot of times you might want to put an outline if you feel like the sides of your um, thing is messy or anything, which this one came out so good. But, I mean, who doesn't love glitter, right? So we're going to go ahead and add that. I don't know if you can tell, but it doesn't go all the way to the edge. There's a border around it. All right, and let's go ahead and remove this backing. Man, that looks awesome. Actually, I'm going to, no, I'm going to leave it. I like it. I might make this the front. Nope, I like it like this. Okay, so we have that. And now we are going to go ahead and put our little 
alien sticker. So for this, you can use tweezers and just pull it off and set it on, or you can use transfer tape, either one, whatever you feel more comfortable with um, will work. And these are the first samples I made. I actually remade these to the ones that you'll buy on the website. Um, the barcode is actually a lot easier to see. So cute. All right, so here's our alien blood and you could always put some vinyl on the back if you don't wanna see the bad drill, for instance. Um, but that is totally up to you. I kind of like how it looks com being completely see-through. So the last thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and seal the top um, with UV resin just because. And then we will be finished, you guys. Alright, you guys. I went ahead and attached the bad drill because this was too cute not to. Um, but here we go. Here's the alien blood. 3D Badrill Shaker. So stinking cute. Well, I hope this helps you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, thank y'all for, for your patience with this. Uh, we've had terrible weather the last few days, so filming this was not easy. Um, but thank you so much. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see y'all soon. Bye.